winter storm warning in effect for heavy snow. Those planning travel in the warned area should be prepared for hazardous conditions and plan accordingly. So I have a snow saw. And right now all I'm doing is just cutting out a little area where that snow column can move a little bit. And then I measure 30 centimeters. It's marked on my saw. It's also marked on my probe if I don't have a saw that's marked on it. So I'll just measure a column that's 30 centimeters wide. And then for my first test, which is a shovel shear, I just isolate the back of the column, the saw deck. Um, and there's a couple ways I can do it. With any old shovel, I can just stick my shovel blade right in the back. And my goal right now is to just identify layers that might be weaknesses. What I do is I pull down at the slope angle. So if I start prying, I can make anything come flying out in the snow pit, right? So the nice thing about these, I can also stick my shovel here. And this, in this case, I don't have that ability to pry. I'm just gonna pull right at that angle of the handle and just gently pull. And we can see that We had a failure right below that sun crust, right? So I flip the column over, look at it, see if I can identify what snow crystals are there. Um, look at what it failed on. And then I'm gonna just keep cutting. This doesn't give you a whole lot of an idea about the strength of the snow. Just gives you an idea of what layers to look at. <laughs> Pull really hard, right? But with that one, it failed right at my shovel. So in terms of data, I throw it out. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't tell me anything except that that snow's pretty darn hard strong. Right? <laughs> so I do this all the way down that snow path. All right. Dirt. Dirt. So the nice thing now is that I've got this open side of my column to then be able to isolate all the columns from here on out. In terms of the depth I want to dig my snow pit, here we've just got a pretty shallow snowpack, so we don't have to dig. We can dig all the way to the ground really easily. In the Cascades, the snowpack might be three meters. So as a skier or rider, I'm going to dig down at least a meter to a meter and a half, so three to five feet. And if the weak layer is even deeper, I'll dig down to that weak layer. So those are the things. But as a skier or rider, I can typically affect the top 100 to 150 centimeters of the snowpack. So. Now, let's start doing some tests and really see what's going on. 